few myths that are out there, and we're going to dispel these myths. Now, some of the myths out there are sales professionals need to be aggressive with people to close the deal. That is not true. Maybe back in the days, before there was internet, before there was technology, you had to be aggressive. A lot of times people, when they're thinking about sales professionals, they're thinking about this used car salesman. No, that's, those days are gone. With technology and the way things are today, you do not need to be aggressive like that. Now, I will say this. Depending on your personality, if you have a very aggressive personality, naturally, you're going to come across aggressive in your sales presentations and tactics. Now, if you're a laid-back, Snoop Dogg type of dude, then your approach is going to be more of a finesseful way of your sales process. So you have to keep that in mind. It really depends on the person's personality. Every salesperson is different. Some salespeople are more analytical. They can spew numbers and charts and analytics to you at the drop of a dime. Another person may use more humor. That's because his personality is more of a humorous one. It, more of the class clown comedic type of person. So depending on your personality, you, you're not trying to get rid of that. You're trying to enhance it and use it into your sales presentation. We don't want you to change yourself. We just want to arm you with the skills and tactics and weapons that you need for this. Okay? So the next one would be salespeople are born, not made. No way. I have a seven-month-old, and he is born to poop in diapers, eat, scream, laugh, cry. That's what he's born to do right now. Eventually, he will learn a skill, a trade. Hopefully, it's going to be in the sales position. But salespeople are not born. They are created. The next one is marketing replaces selling. Marketing and selling are married to each other. They need each other. Without one or the other, you can't, you can't succeed. Now, if you're good in marketing, that's fantastic. But the problem is if you're good in marketing and not good in sales, you're going to have a lot of people calling your phone asking for your products and services, but your closing ratio is going to be so low that you're losing money. You have to know how to sell. Some people will get flyers done and thinking that's all they have to do and they can do the, uh, the flyer will do the rest. Now, okay, somebody grabs your flyer and they decide to call your number. If you do not know how to sell and close that person, you lost that deal. So marketing isn't enough. Marketing is used to attract the customer to your product and services. Sales is what gets the money. It's what closes the deal. Next one, people don't like to spend money. I'm telling you, man, they don't want to spend money with me. This is what I hear. I hear entrepreneurs tell me, people don't have the money to spend right now. The recession is here. There's a new president in office. Uh, the reindeers didn't fly, you know, on, on the blood moon day. Whatever the situation is, that is a lie. That is an internal dialogue that many people have in order to convince themselves why their sales suck, okay? So I'll give you a quick analogy. You could go to any project, any hood right now where it is economically deprived, and I will guarantee you that you will see somebody with a pair of Jordans that cost $175, or more, they might have the Concords on. And you can go to any trailer park right now and guarantee you that they have Netflix somewhere in there. So they're paying a monthly membership for Netflix. So people have the money. It's all about how you're going to tap into that money and when they do call you or reach out to you, how will you close that deal? And then the last one is extroverts win in sales, not true. 
it pretty much goes back to the first one. It depends on your personality. A finesseful person can definitely close more sales than an extrovert if they have the right tools in place, okay?